Welcome to Beyond Measure and a Team K and K tutorial. This is an MDF plaque that I was given at a garage sale. Open up Make the Cut software, go into the gallery and look up Holly and initials. Size, rotate, and or duplicate the Holly to your heart's content. At this point, it's a little bit of a guessing game as to how many I will need. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up my map with the holly. And I'll separate the berries from the actual holly leaves. What happens that there was a B initial chevron. And I love the B initial, so I'm deleting all the rest of the pattern so that I can use the beautiful B font because B is the beginning letter of my last name. Click and drag to size to fit the plaque perfectly. I cut three B's out of white cardstock with the force of 83 and the speed of 10. Look at how beautifully the over-the-top zing cut the B. Next, run all three B's through the Xyron sticker making machine. Leave one of the bees stuck to the adhesive backing, but stack the others together and press. I spray painted the plaque with gold metallic spray paint, and then I used Mod Podge on top of that. Let me advise you, if I were to do this again, I would only Mod Podge small areas at a time so that it doesn't dry. Once you place your piece of paper atop the Mod Podge, then place more Mod Podge on top of it. The same thing with the holly leaves as I did with the bees, except I only used single and double layers. Now it's playtime. <laughs> we get to adhere the holly leaves to our plaque. Be sure to go over it with a brayer. This helps to make sure that it's all stuck from edge to edge. Do you see how beautifully the over-the-top zing cut the holly leaves? Hmm, decisions, decisions. How many should I put on my plaque? Painting time. Do, 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 do. The only cream paint that I had was some very old house paint. It was very blobby, but you could still work with it beautifully. You could use a brush, but I used a paper towel and a water mister and just blotted it on top of all of the surface. At this stage, it looks lovely and you could stop here, but I wanted to embellish more. A dollop of bronze Folk art craft paint and some water will do great. Use your paper towel and kind of dry brush it, so to speak. Go lightly at first because you can always add more color. And now we get to use our clear Versamark embossing ink and the Stampendous Frontage Shabby Chic embossing enamels. By hand, I'm applying it to only the holly leaves very sporadically at that. Now it's time to sprinkle with some of the embossing enamel. I'm trying to get most of it into my coffee filter so that I'll have no waste, but it was a little bit difficult as you can see. Use your heated tool using the Viva Decor Paper Pearl Pen. Add little pearl berries. Now this is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in bronze. Just a squirt will do ya. Next, take some satin ribbon, some water mister, distress stain in antiqued brass and bronze, and some iridescent white paint. Swirl around and then crinkle up and hold together with straight pins. Use the heated tool to dry it. And guess what? This is our completed project. I so love the faux embossing technique on my over-the-top zing cutting machine. And you will too. And remember, be blessed beyond measure.